good evening students uh, today we will discuss uh, about coordinate geometry that is the first exercise of your uh, chapter coordinate geometry so this coordinate geometry is actually mainly deals with the position of points the position of points about uh, x axis and y axis there are two axes in coordinate geometry that is one is your x axis and another one is y axis so between those axes the distance of points the distance of points is actually related to this coordinate geometry we will find the distances about the given points clear so uh, the first thing is the uh, that is a axis this is this is your x axis this is negative of x that is x dash this is y axis and this is negative of y this is called x axis this is y axis clear and this is the negative part of x and this is the negative part of y this is the origin part that is midpoint there is origin part this is called x axis or it is also known as abscissa it is also known as abscissa x axis or abscissa and this is known as y axis or ordinate this is y axis or ordinate and this o point this is called origin and this origin point having coordinate as 0 comma 0 so this is the coordinate coordinate means the position of point the position of a point with respect to its x axis and with respect to its y axis that is the position and the position of a point in x and y axis is known as the coordinate clear so at first we will write the position of uh, the position of the point with respect to x and then the position of point with respect to y suppose i am saying the uh, position of p the position of p in x and y axis that is the position of p 2 comma 3 it means that the position of p with respect to x that means the position of p from x axis is 2 unit and from y axis is 3 unit the first number the first number will represent the position of the point from x axis and the second number will replace the position will define the position of point with respect to y axis suppose we am saying the position of uh, q the position of a point q suppose it is given as 4 comma 5 it simply means the position of q uh, so 4 comma 5 simply means its uh, distance from x is 4 unit and its distance from y axis is 5 unit that is 4 comma 5 so the first number will represent the position with respect to x axis that means the distance of it from x axis and the second one the second number will represent the distance of this point from y axis clear so that is x axis or abscissa and y axis or ordinate and this is the origin always remember in origin the position of any point is 0 comma 0 that means the position of it the position of a point from x axis is 0 and also the position of uh, that a point that means the distance of it from y axis is also 0 that means both of them are 0 in origin that means x equals to 0 and y equals to 0 in origin clear so this is all about axis y axis and x axis or abscissa or ordinate next suppose uh, this is x axis and this is y axis x axis y axis and this is origin so origin is your 0 comma 0 okay there are two points one here the suppose the point is p and here suppose the point is p and here suppose the point is t here the point is here p and the point here is t and there are one another point that is q like this clear so the position of p in x and y axis is x1 comma y1 and t is let us say x2 comma y2 or uh, suppose it is saying as x3 comma y3 and it is x2 comma y2 the coordinates of p are x1 comma y1 t as x3 comma y3 and q as x2 comma y2 clear and it is uh, meeting the x axis at point r and point s point r and point s so if we want to 
calculate the distance between the P and Q. If we want to calculate the distance between P and Q, we can easily calculate by a formula. So the formula is basically known as distance formula. The formula is basically known as distance formula. By this formula, we can easily calculate the distance between any two points. The distance between any two points. Suppose we want to calculate the distance between P and Q. So its coordinates is x1, y1. Its coordinate is x2, y2. So the formula is the formula is the distance PQ. Distance PQ. That means we want to calculate the distance between P and Q. So the distance PQ will be the formula is x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus 1 y1 square and it will be covered by root clear that means we would we will simply subtract the x uh, x1 from x2 that means this coordinate minus this coordinate plus this coordinate minus this coordinate so by this formula that means x2 minus x1 the square plus y2 minus y1 that square that means this is x2 this is x1 so x2 minus x1 bracket square plus this is y2 this is y1 so y2 minus 1 bracket square and whole to the power root that is the formula so by this formula we can easily calculate the distance between any two given points any two given points this is the first formula second formula is the distance of a point the distance of a point p suppose coordinate of p is xy suppose the coordinate of p is xy and O point O is the origin point that is 0 comma 0 so if we want to calculate the distance between this this P and O this P and O suppose the coordinate of P is X Y and O the position of O is 0 comma 0 suppose consider the uh, code the position uh, the uh, position of P is X comma Y the coordinate the coordinate is P is X Y or X and Y not X1 Y1 suppose consider the coordinate of P is X comma Y and O is the origin point that is 0 comma 0 so we have to calculate the distance between this P and O the origin point here the formula will be here the formula will be that is P O here the formula will be root X square plus Y square so two formulas are different this is the formula whenever we have to calculate the distance between any two given points except origin except origin clear any two given points except origin so we will apply this formula but if you want to calculate the distance between two points and one of them is origin one of the point is origin then we calculate by this formula clear next so by these two formula we can solve the given questions that is 7.1 these are given questions some questions are given so by applying this formula we can easily calculate the following question we can easily solve this following question so first question is uh, question number one that is find the distance between the following pairs of points so we will calculate the distance between these two points and also the distance between two points so first question is question number one question number one so given points so write given points so given points are 2 comma 3 and 4 comma 1 so let us consider this is x1 this is y1 this is x2 and this is y2 clear so the formula will be therefore distance the distance the formula is the formula is x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 square. this is the formula so for your convenience you can write this x1 y1 and x2 y2 this is for your convenience and after doing the sum just erase this clear so write it in pencil clear so that you can erase after doing the sum so x2 minus x1 and y2 minus y1 so x2 this is that is 4 so that is 4 minus x1 x1 that is 2 so 4 minus 2 square plus y2 y2 is 1 minus y1 y1 is 3 so like this therefore just solve 4 minus 2 that is 2 so 2 square 1 minus 3 1 minus 3 is minus 2 so minus 2 square so 2 square means 4 minus 2 square means also 4 so 4 plus 4 that is root 8 root 8 means 2 into 2 into 2 so from 2 2 we can extract 1 2 that is 2 root 2 so the distance is 2 root 2 the distance will be 2 root 2 clear yeah. and you can uh, simply uh, say that the distance between these two points is 
2 root 2 so like this we can easily solve we can easily calculate the distance between any two given points now i am uh, considering this x1 and this is y1 and this is x2 and y2 but you can also consider this x2 and y this is x2 y2 and this is x1 y1 the answer will be same the answer will be same i am considering this as x1 y1 this and x1, uh, this as x2 y2 you can also consider this as x2 y2 and this as x1 y1 the answer will be same clear any point you can assume as x1 y1 and x2 y2 clear so it's very easy question next question next question the given points are uh, question number 2 one given points given points so points are minus 5 comma 7 minus 5 comma 7 and minus 1 comma 3 these are the points these are the points so apply formula therefore the distance will be distance will be write formula first x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 square that is the formula between any two given points except uh, origin that is the formula so just put the values in their respective places so suppose this is x1 this is y1 this is x2 and y2 just uh, this is for your convenience clear uh, after doing the sum you will erase this x2 and y2 like this uh, so first uh, write in pencil so that you can erase after doing the sum so i am considering this x1 and y1 and this x2 and y2 you can also consider this as x2 y2 and this as x1 y1 the answer will be same clear so x2 x2 here is minus 1 x2 here is minus 1 x2 here is minus 1 uh, minus y x2 minus x1 so minus x1 x1 is minus 5 so x1 is see x1 is minus 5 so whenever i am trying to see minus 5 this minus and minus gets plus clear uh, i am repeating again x2 is minus 1 and this is minus sign minus x1 so we have to suppose uh, we, we will suppose to write x1 the here and this is the minus sign so x1 now is minus 5 so minus and minus it becomes plus clear square plus y2 y2 is 3 and y1 is 7 so like this so minus 1 plus 5 that is 4 so 4 square 3 minus 7 that is minus 4 square now 4 square is 16 minus 4 square is also 16 because minus 4 into minus 4 is plus 16 so 16 plus 16 that is 32 so just factorize 32 so you will get 5 2's there you will get 5 2's 1 2 3 4 5 so from 2 2's extract 1 2 from 2 2's extract 1 2 so this is so 2 2's are 4 so 4 root 2 is the answer 4 root 2 4 root 2 is the answer there is distance between these two given points is 4 root 2 there next so question number 1 solve next next question question 3 question number 3 question number 3 question number 3 question number 3 says uh, determine if the points this 1 comma 5 2 comma 3 and minus 2 comma minus 11 check whether these three points or determine these three points are collinear or not these three points we have to check these three points are collinear or not now collinear means all these three points should lie in the same straight line all these three straight lines if they are collinear then these three points should lie on the same straight line only then it will be collinear otherwise it will not be collinear clear so there is a definite process for doing this sum we will first consider that these three points are the vertices of a triangle these three points are the vertices of a triangle let a triangle be like this it is a b and c this is a this is b and this is c so consider this is a triangle abc and the vertices of a is 1 comma 5 and the vertices of b is suppose 2 comma 3 and the vertices of c is minus 2 comma minus 11 we will first consider the given points are the vertices of any triangle that is abc and we will draw this triangle and put the respect uh, respective places their coordinates clear we will first consider this and we will determine the distance that is ab 
AC and DC one by one. Clear? So this is the process of doing this type of sum. First, consider these three given points as the vertices of a triangle, and draw a triangle and put the uh, coordinates in brackets after the points and check the distances. That is AB, BC, and AC. Clear? So first AB. First AB. So formula is x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 square. There is a distance of AB. So x2 minus x1. So suppose uh, AB. Suppose this is x1, this is y1, and B AB. That is x2. It is x2 and it is y2. Clear? So x2 minus x1. So x2 means 2. X1 means 1. So 2 minus 1. 2 minus 1 square plus this is y2, this is y1, so 3 minus 5, so 3 minus 5 square. Therefore, it is 1 square plus minus 2 square. Therefore, this is 1 square 1, 2 square means minus 2 square means 4, so 1 plus 4, that is 5. So, b is root 5. So, ab comes out to be root 5. Clear? So, ab is root 5 and I am erasing this. This is complete. So, ab is root 5. Clear? So, I am writing this uh, in a separate side that is ab here root 5 ab is root 5 next so one side that is ab is root 5 now ac so formula will be same x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 square formula will be same clear the formula will be same uh, so ac so let uh, these two points so sub consider this as x1 y1 and now this as x2 y2 so x2 minus x1 x2 is minus 2 x1 is 1 so minus 2 minus 1 square y2 is minus 11 minus y1 y1 is 5 so this 2 minus 2 minus 1 that is minus 3 square this is minus 16 square so minus 3 square that is 9 minus 16 16 16 sir um, 256 so that is 256 and this will be 256 plus 9 that is root 265 so ac is root uh, ac is root 265 root 265 this is ac so ac comes out to be root 265 clear next third side that is left third side left that is your bc now BC is left. Now we will erase this x1, y1 and x2, y2. This is uh, written for your convenience. You cannot, uh, you, you can write this and or you cannot write this. This is for your convenience so that you can better understand the formulas. Clear? So the application of formula. So BC is uh, distance that is x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 square. Now as BC, so consider it as x1, y1, it is as x2, y2. So x2 minus x1, so minus 2, x2 minus 2 and x1, 2. So minus 2, minus 2, the square, y2, minus 11, minus y1, y1, 3. So the square, that is minus 2, minus 2 is minus 4, minus 4 square plus minus 14 square. Now minus 4 square means 16 and minus 14 square means 196 so 196 plus 16 that is 196 plus 6 is 202 202 and 10 is 212 so this is 212 that means bc is root 212 bc is root 212 so we have got the three sides that is ab bc and ac now the condition is to become collinear the condition is that the con there is a fixed condition that is ab is root 5 ac is root 265 and bc is ro uh, root 212 that means these three are unequal these three are unequal so we'll write ab not equals to ac not equals to bc these three are unequal also if we add any two sides if we add any two sides that will be not equal to the third side if we add any two sides the sum of any two sides will be not equal to the third side that is also a second condition that means if we add suppose a b and b c if we add suppose a b and b c that will not be equal to uh, a c and also if we add suppose a c and b c that will not also be uh, equal to a b that means if we add a c and b c suppose we are adding a c and b c that will also not equal to third side that is a b 
Clear? Any two sides you can add. I am adding AC and BC. You can also adding AB and AC that will not equal to BC. So sum of any two sides, sum of any two sides will not be equal to the third side. That means if we add AC and BC, that is root 265 plus root 212, that will not be equal to AB. So that means this is the second condition that sum of any two sides will be not equal to the third side. Clear? And the third condition is that AC, this AC is not equal to BC. This AC is not equal to BC. So we look at this AC root 265 and BC is root 212. So AC also not equals to BC. So these three conditions are to be satisfied for uh, the three points to become collinear. These three points are not satisfying. These three points are not satisfying. So these three points are not collinear. If these three point are collinear if these three points suppose they are collinear then this must be equal that means ab equals to ac plus bc ab ab equals to ac equals to bc ab equals to ac plus bc ac equals to bc so that the three points are collinear but this but this is these conditions are not satisfied these conditions are not satisfied so these three points we will write these three points are not collinear so we will write therefore the given points the given points are not collinear the given points are not collinear clear to become a collinear this condition must be satisfied that means ab should be equals to ac should be equals to bc or ab should be equals to ac plus bc that means sum of two sides sum of any two sides should be equal to the third side and also ac equals to bc but here the conditions are not satisfied so these three points are not collinear clear next Question number three. Question number three complete. Question number four. Question number four. Question number four says check whether uh, the three points are given five comma minus two, six comma four, and seven comma minus two are the vertices of an isosceles triangle. Okay. So uh, the given points we have to check the three given points are the vertices of an isosceles triangle or not. So the three, the three given points are vertices of an isosceles triangle not. So the three points we consider the three points like this is A, this is B and this is C. Clear? This is A, this is B and this is C. We will consider the three points as A, B and C. So let us write, let uh, let the three given points are the vertices of a triangle ABC or you can write like this the let the three given points are the vertices of a triangle ABC where where A is your the first coordinate that is 5 comma minus 2 B is the second coordinate 6 comma 4 and the third coordinate bills belongs to c that is 7 comma minus 2 clear so let us uh, let the three points let the three given points are the vertices of a triangle abc where a is 5 comma minus 2 b is 6 comma 4 and c is 7 comma minus 2 now we will um, find the three distances of a triangle that is ab bc and ac clear first that uh, find the distance ab then bc and then ac and c uh, the distances of AB, BC and AC. So first AB. So find out the distance of AB. The formula is x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 square. Now uh, AB. So these two points consider these as x1, this y1, this x2 and this y2. So x2 minus x1, so 6 minus 5 because x2 is 6 and x1 is 5, so 6 minus 5 square plus y2 minus y1 y2 is 4 and y1 is minus 2 so minus and minus becomes plus so what plus 2 because y2 is 4 uh, y2 is 4 minus and y1 is minus 2 so minus and minus becomes plus so 4 plus 2 square so 6 minus 5 that is 1 1 square 4 plus 2 that is 6 so 6 square that means 1 square 1 6 square 36 so this is 37 root 37 so ab is root 37 clear so i am writing this here uh, separately that ab we got ab as root 37 
वी हैव गॉट ए वी रूट थर्टी सेवन क्लियर नेक्स्ट बी सी सो इट इज दिस एक्स टू एन वाई टू पार्ट नेक्स्ट बी सी सो फॉर्मूला इज सेम एक्स टू माइनस एक्स वन स्क्वायर प्लस वाई टू माइनस वाई वन स्क्वायर ना सो बी सी सो दिस इज एक्स वन वाई वन and this is x2 y2 so x2 minus x1 that means 7 minus 6 square plus y2 is minus 2 and y1 is 4 so this so 7 minus 6 means 1 so 1 square minus 2 minus 4 means minus 6 square that is 1 square 1 minus 6 square 36 that is root 37 so this is also root 37 bc also root 37 so we'll write bc this is in last space so that i can remember every each of side so so space is not so much that's why i can remember the sides that's why i have written so bc comes out to be root 37 clear next third remaining side that is ac so ac that is same formula x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 square so this is x1 suppose this is y1 and c This is x2. This is y2. So uh, x2 minus x1. So 7 minus 5. This is x2. This is x1. So 7 minus 5. Clear. So 7 minus 5 square. Y2 is minus 2, and y1. So y1 is minus 2. Y1 is also minus 2. So minus and minus becomes plus. Clear. Because y1, uh, y2 is minus 2, minus y1. So y1 is also minus 2. So minus and minus will plus. So what? Minus 2 plus 2 square. So 7 minus 5. That is 2. And minus two, minus two plus two will reduce. That means zero. So zero square. So two square four plus zero. That is four. So four means root two into two. That is two. That is two. So AC comes out to be two. So AC comes out to be two. This is two. Clear. AC comes out to be two. So all the three sides we have got now. Put these three sides into triangle and see. Check whether these three uh, sides belongs to a sides of isosceles triangle or not. Now, see these uh, three given points. That is AB root thirty seven and BC root thirty seven and AC equals to two. So these two sides are same. These two sides are same. That means the given points are the vertices of an isosceles triangle because these two sides are same. That means so if we draw the triangle. If we draw the triangle, if we draw the triangle, suppose this is A, this is B, this is C. So AC is two, AB is root thirty-seven, and BC is root thirty-seven. Clear. And the vertices A is five comma minus two. So A is five comma minus two, B is six comma four, B is six comma four, and C is seven comma minus two. Seven comma minus two. So that. This is isosceles triangle because we know the isosceles triangle. In isosceles triangle, the two sides are same. These two sides are same, and this third side is different. And check the conditions are matched. AB and BC both the both of the two sides are uh, same, and the third side that is AC is different in length. That means these three points are the vertices of an isosceles triangle. So we will write that AB equals to BC. Therefore, uh, the given vertices. The given, uh, therefore, the given points are the vertices of an isosceles triangle. I am not, I am not writing this. So, you will write here the answer. That is the statement. The statement will be therefore the given points are the vertices of an isosceles triangle. That's it. Clear? Question number four complete. Next question number six. Question number six. Uh, first question. Six question. Question number six. The first question of question number six. That is, name the type of quadrilateral formed, if any, by the following points. So, total four points are given, and uh, we have to uh, find out the type of quadrilaterals if it is formed and the name of the quadrilateral. So, quadrilateral means four sides. A polygon which has four sides. That is quadrilateral. So, consider it as a polygon or quadrilateral which has four sides. Consider it. This is A, this is B, this is C, and this is D. That means we have the four points. So name one point one by one. So minus one, minus two. Let this is minus one, minus two. 
b this is 1 comma 0 so next coordinate is minus 1 minus 1 comma 2 this is minus 1 comma 2 and third is my fourth is minus 3 comma 0 clear all these four points are given now we will uh, find the distances of this four side that is a b d c c d and a d clear so first a b first a b the formula is x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 square so a b that is x1 this is y1 this is x2 this is y2 so x2 minus x1 there is 1 minus of minus 1 x2 minus x1 so 1 minus of minus 1 that is plus 1 so 1 plus 1 so 1 plus 1 square plus y2 y2 0 and y1 minus 2 so 0 plus 2 minus minus becomes plus so 0 plus 2 square 1 plus 1 that is 2 square plus 2 square that is 4 plus 4 8 8 means 2 root 2 because 8 means 2 into 2 into 2 that means 2 root 2. from 2 to we will extract 1 2 so this is 2 root 2 so ab is 2 root 2 clear so ab comes out to be 2 root 2 and it is in this ab is 2 root 2 next next is bc so same formula x2 minus x1 square y2 minus y1 square so this is suppose this is x1 so suppose this is x1 y1 and this is x2 and y2 so x2 means minus 1 and uh, x1 means 1 so x2 minus x1 this plus y2 y2 is 2 and y1 is 0 so 2 minus 0 square so it will be minus 1 minus 1 square that is minus 2 square plus 2 minus 0 that is 2 so 2 square so minus 2 square that is 4 2 square is also 4 that means root 8 that means 2 into 2 into 2 this is 2 2 into 2 into 2 so 2 root 2 so this is also 2 root 2 this is also 2 root 2 clear so this is also 2 root 2 next next is cd cd so find out cd x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 square so in case of cd uh, suppose it is x1 it is y1 this is x2 and this is y2 so x2 minus x1 means minus 3 x2 is minus 3 x2 is minus 3 and x1 is minus 1 so minus minus plus so plus 1 square y2 is 0 and y1 is 2 so 0 minus 2 square minus 3 plus 1 that is minus 2 square 0 minus 2 that is minus 2 square so minus 2 square means 4 minus 2 square means 4 this is also root 8 that means it will also be 2 root 2 2 into 2 into 2 that is 2 root 2 so this is also 2 root 2 clear so cd is also 2 root 2 next is da last that is da so formula will be x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 square. Now in case of da, consider it as x1 y1 and it is x2 y2. So x2 minus x1 there is x2 is minus 1 and x1 is minus 3. So minus 1 minus of minus. So minus minus becomes plus. That means minus 1 plus 3 square and y2 is minus 2 and y1 is 0 so minus 0 minus 2 minus 0 that is square so it is 2 square minus 2 minus 0 and that means minus 2 minus 2 minus 0 that is minus 2 so minus 2 square that is 4 it is also 4 that means same it will be 2 root 2 2 into 2 into 2 that is 2 root 2 so this is also 2 root 2 this is also 2 root 2 clear this is 2 root 2 2, 2, 2. Clear? This is 2. This is 2. All these are 2. So 2 root 2. So this is also 2 root 2. So all the four sides are same. All the four sides are same. That means chances that it is it can be a square because all the four sides are same. So that, uh, that means the quadrilateral 
may be a square because all the four sides same all the four sides are same but we cannot confirm this until and unless we can extract the diagonals we have to also find out the diagonals also because square has a property the property of a square is the property of a square is number one its all sides are same and number two the diagonal will be same the diagonal will be same then only we can uh, justify that the given uh, quadrilateral is a square clear but if we uh, just find the sides and not the diagonals the quadrilateral can be a rhombus also the quadrilaterals can be a rhombus also because in rhombus also the four sides are same like square but the only difference between square and rhombus is the diagonals are not same in case of rhombus but in case of square the diagonals are same so to confirm this quadrilateral whether it is a diagonal whether it is a square or it is a rhombus we have to find out the diagonals also and if we see the diagonals are same then we will confirm that this quadrilateral is a square and if the diagonals are not same then confirm that it is a rhombus clear so find out the diagonals so first is ac and next one is bd these two diagonals so one is ac so first one ac so formula will be same x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 square so in case of ac suppose this is ac this is ac so this is considered it as x1 y1 and c so consider it as x2 y2 so x2 minus x1 there is minus 1 and minus of minus 1 x1 is minus 1 so minus of minus 1 so minus 1 plus 1 that means minus 1 plus 1 that is square plus y2 y2 is 2 and y1 is minus 2 so minus 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 becomes plus y1 y2 is 2 and y1 is minus 2 so minus of minus becomes plus so 2 plus 2 plus 2 square now minus 1 plus 1 will reduce and comes to 0 so 0 square 2 plus 2 that is 4 square 2 plus 2 4 that is 4 square so 0 plus 4 square 16 that means 16 plus 0 is 16 16 means 4 into 4 so 4 so diagonal one diagonal is 4 that is AC is 4 now the second diagonal BD if it is also 4 then the diagonals are same and the quadrilateral confirm that it is a square so the second diagonal BD formula is x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 square so in case of bd this is bd so consider it as x1 uh, so it is written also d is x1 y1 and b suppose it is x2 y2 as uh, this is written i am not raising this so this is x1 y1 suppose this is x2 y2 clear so x2 is 1 and x1 is minus 3 so 1 minus minus becomes plus so 1 plus 3 so x2 minus x1 is 1 plus 3 square plus uh, y2 is 0 and y1 is also 0 both are 0 so 0 minus 0 y2 minus y1 this is 2 clear so 1 plus 3 that is 4 so 4 square 0 minus 0 is also 0 so 4 square means 16 this is plus 0 16 so it is 4 into 4 that means it also 4. so bd is also 4 that means diagonals are also same that means it confirms that it is a square it is it confirms that the quadrilateral is a square not a rhombus if it would uh, if it would rhombus then the diagonals would be different clear so we'll write that the sides a b equal to b c equal to c d equal to d a both of the side uh, all these four sides are same which is equals to 2 root 2 and also the diagonals are same diagonals are a c and b t both the diagonals are equal which is equals to uh, 4 unit so therefore you will just write that therefore the given uh, points the given points or the following points are the vertices of a square you will write that the, therefore the given points are the vertices of a square clear i am not writing this just uh, write here that the, therefore the given points are the vertices of a square and this is the reason for the square clear so question six first question complete the remaining two questions will be your homework next question number eight question number eight find the value of y for which the distance between the points that is p and q is 10 unit the two points are given one is p its coordinate is given and second point q its coordinate is also given so the distance between two points p and q is 10 units given their coordinates are given we have to find out the value of y clear so it's a easy question suppose this is this is p and this is q two points coordinate of p is given 2 minus 3 and coordinate of q is given 10 1 y and this distance is, is 10 unit 
the distance is here is 10 u so just apply the distance formula apply the distance formula so pq is formula is x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 square now pq is 10 unit it is given therefore write 10 and x2 minus x1 so consider it as x1 this y1 and this x2 and y2 so x2 minus x1 means 10 minus 2 x2 is uh, q is x2 is 10 and x1 is 2 so x2 minus x1 that means 10 minus 2 square y2 is y here y2 means y and y1 is minus 3 so minus minus becomes plus so this is y plus 3 square clear therefore 10 this is 8 square plus this is y plus 3 square clear so now square uh, square the both side what will you do just square the both side that the, this side you will just square and this side just uh, square so if you square this side that means 10 square so it will be 100 clear and if you square this side so root will eliminate clear that means it will be 8 square that is 64 plus y plus 3 square that means we are we are squaring both sides we are squaring both sides that means left hand side and right hand side if you square this side so 10 square it is 100 and if you square this side the root will get eliminated that means it will be 8 square plus y plus 3 square and 8 square is 64 so that is 64 plus y plus 3 square uh, we are squaring because we have to eliminate this root portion if we can't eliminate this root portion if we cannot eliminate this root portion we cannot find the value of y so to find the value of y we have to eliminate the root and only one way we can eliminate the root that is by squaring both of, uh, both the sides that means 100 equals to 64 plus y plus 3 square clear then 100 equals to 100 minus 64 the 64 just change the side 100 equals to minus 64 this is minus equal to y plus 3 square 100 minus 64 that is 36 equals to y plus 3 square clear now see very carefully 36 equals to y plus 3 square clear now uh, this 36 just uh, 36 equal to y plus 3 square from this we can easily write that y plus 3 can be 6 and y plus 3 can be minus 6 because 36 can be written as minus 6 square this is also 36 and 36 can be written as plus 6 square this is also 36 so if 36 is minus 6 square so this square and this square will get eliminated that means y plus 3 equal to minus 6 see y plus 3 equal to minus 6 and if 36 square we can written as plus 6 square that is 36 also so this square and square will get eliminated so y plus 3 will be 6 that y plus 3 will be 6 so there is two condition from here the two conditions so if y plus 3 equal to 6 then y will be 6 minus 3 that is 3 and if y plus 3 will be minus 6 then change the, changing the side to so six minus 6 it will be minus 3 so minus 6 minus 3 it will be minus 9 so there are two values of y possible one is 3 and one will be minus 9 so the value of y so value y can be 3 or, or y can be minus 9 so these two values are y are possible one is 3 and one is minus 9 clear last question question number 9 question number 9 question number 9 says if q coordinate given 0 comma 1 is equidistant from p and r find the value of x so one uh, is given one coordinate uh, is given that is uh, q 0 comma 1 which is equidistant from p and r so coordinate of p is also given coordinate of r is also given that is x comma 6 coordinate of r find the value of x also find the distance q r and p r so q is equidistant from p and r right so let this is p and this is r this is p and this is r so p coordinate p is given 5 comma minus 3 that coordinate r is given x comma 6 now q is a point q is a point whose coordinate is given 0 comma 1 and q is between p and n so that it is equidistant from p r n equidistant means this p q and q r are same equidistant means this pq and qr are same q is equidistant from p and r that means this pq this pq and this qr these distances are same 
only then q can be equidistant from both of these points clear yeah? so uh, we will find find uh, we will find first pq and then we will find qr and we will equal pq and qr so that we can reduce the value of x clear yeah? so this is the diagram so find out pq first so pq formula is same the distance formula x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 square so consider it as x1 is y1 this is x2 this is y2 so x2 minus x1 that is 0 minus 5 plus y2 1 uh, y1 is plus 3 y1 is minus 3 y1 is minus 3 so minus minus becomes plus so 1 plus 3 now 0 minus 5 is minus 5 square 1 plus 3 that is 4 now minus 5 square that is 25 uh, 4 square that is 16 so 25 plus 16 root 25 plus 16 that is 41 so this is root 41 so pq comes out to be root 41 remember pq comes out to be root 41 okay so i'm writing this in separate pq comes out to be root 41 okay next qr so qr same formula x2 minus x1 square so y2 minus y1 square now so consider this as x1 y1 and this as x2 y2 so x2 is x here x1 is 0 so x minus 0 square y2 y2 is 6 here and y1 is 1 here so 6 minus 1 square now x minus 0 is x so x square 6 minus 1 is 5 so 5 square so it is x square 5 square is 25 so root x square plus 25 root x square plus 25 clear now pq and qr both will be equal so equate equate these two uh, part because only then q can be equidistant from p and r so condition is pq will be equals to qr clear so pq here is root 41 root 41 and qr qr was root x square plus 25 qr was x root x square plus 25 now squaring both sides just square both of the side so root will eliminate so 41 will be x plus 25 if you square both the sides so uh, in both sides root will get eliminate that means x square equals to 41 minus 25 x square equal to 16 so x will be root 16 clear now uh, see if x is root 16 then uh, 16 root 16 clear so root 16 so in root 16 we can easily write root 16 4 into 4 that will be 4 if 16 uh, we can easily break root 16 as 4 into 4 that means one value will be 4 also we can break root 16 also as minus 4 into minus 4 also it is 16 because minus minus will get plus so the value will be minus 4 that means the value of root 16 can be 4 can be minus 4 but we have to take both of these values so we will write here therefore x will be plus minus 4 because x can be plus and x can be minus so the value of x will be plus minus 4 the value of x will be plus minus 4 so first part is done find the value of x where the question is asked find the value of x so the value of x is plus minus 4 clear <coughs> next also the second part says the second part says that find the distance of qr and pr so find the distance of qr and pr clear so the you know, the formula the, the distance qr the distance qr was root x square plus 25 so we will put the value of x now there is there are two condition the value of x was plus minus 4 so uh, in the first case we will put the value as x plus 4 and then minus 4 clear so this is the condition a, a, when x is 4 only plus 4 so it is 4 square plus 25 here right when x is 4 so 16 plus 25 that is root 41 Thick, clear also when x is minus 4 just uh, right here so when x is minus 4 just put minus sign over here when x this is the second condition 
and x is minus 4. So minus 4 square means minus 4 into minus 4. There is also 16. So in fact, there is 4, 41. So in both the condition, if x is plus 4 also, qr is root 41. If x is minus 4, then also qr is root 41. Clear? Next pr. Next pr. So pr. So formula of pr that is same x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 square clear so the diagram was like that the diagram was that was p that was r that was q that was the diagram the coordinate of p was 5 comma minus 3 the coordinate of r was x comma 6 and the coordinate of q was 0 comma 1 that was the diagram so from that diagram we have to find pr we have to find pr so consider it as x1 y1 and it has x2 y2 so x2 minus x1 that is x minus 5 x2 x x1 5 so x minus 5 square y2 y2 is 6 y1 is minus 3 so minus minus becomes plus 3 now x minus 5 this is x minus 5 square plus 6 plus 3 that is 9 square that means x minus 5 square 9 square means 81 clear so pr is root x minus 5 square plus 81 this is the uh, equation of pr that is the value of pr so pr means this clear so we will write it again pr comes out to be root x minus 5 square plus 81 pr comes out to be root x minus 5 square plus 81 now we will put the value of x so there are two conditions one is x plus 4 and when x is minus 4 so we will write the value separately so first x is when x is 4 when x is 4 just write 4 here plus 81 when x is 4 so 4 minus 5 that means minus 1 81 minus 1 square means 1 81 that means root 82 so when x equals to 4 pr becomes root 82 then in the second case when x is minus 4 so again write this pr and just put x minus 4 just put here x minus 4 just put here x minus 4 so when it is minus 4 this is minus so minus 4 minus 5 means minus 9 so if x is minus 4 this is minus 4 so minus 4 minus 5 so it is minus 9 square plus 81 so minus 9 square means 81 also plus 81 so that is 162 root 162 clear if you simplify root 162 so just factorize 162 it is 2 into 81 9 into 9 9 once and 9 so 2 into 9 into 9 so root 162 means 2 into 9 into 9 so from 1 uh, 2 9 1 9 will get comes out so 9 and root 2 so 9 root 2 so pr will be 9 root 2 clear so when pr is when x is 4 only then pr uh, when x is 4 only then pr was root 82 clear and when uh, x is minus 4 pr is 9 root 2 clear so this is the answer so uh, we have to consider on the both of the sign that is when x is 4 then find the value of pr and qr and when x is minus 4 then also find the value of pr and qr clear so that's it question exercise 7.1 complete the remaining questions will be your homework in the next session we will discuss the 7.2 part clear thank you